Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this video I want to talk about crashes within Cinema 4D related to NVIDIA GPUs. But before I do that, I just want to mention quickly that only 14% of my viewers on YouTube, uh, returning viewers on YouTube, are actually subscribed to my channel. So do yourself and me a favour and hit the subscribe button and the bell, and um, yeah, that'd be great. So let's uh, dig into this issue. Okay, so... As you can see, I'm using Cinema 4D R21 and I've been suffering from some issues and I'll get into that in a minute, but GPU issues and crashes can actually affect you if you're using R23, S24, even R25. People have been complaining sluggish behavior in the viewport and all those kind of things. Now, to give you a little bit of background about my hardware and when my problems started, my system, I'm using a um, 1950X CPU I've got some G-Skill RAM in it as well, and I was using a GTX 1080 Ti. And then I managed to get my grubby little mitts on a RTX 3090. So I installed that hardware into my computer, and uh, I updated the drivers to the latest studio drivers, and that's when I started having problems. And as you can imagine, I was pretty dismayed because I've got a lovely new card, and it wasn't performing as I wished. So now onto the problems that I was having. So typically what would happen is I'd open up Cinema 4D, it would, everything would look fine, and then I'd do something like create a box like this, and it would kind of be a bit sluggish. And then I'd go to do something like, I don't know, right click on the cube to add something, and this menu wouldn't appear. And then I'd start going, what's going on? And then I'd start clicking around and nothing was happening. And then, so I'd get a full lockup basically. And then I'd get that famous window sound for when you unplug, say, a USB or a device or something like that, and the screens to the left and the right of my main screen would just go black. So that's how I know it's a driver failure. So once those screens had gone black, there was no bringing them back without giving your computer a restart. So it was definitely related to the GPU, specifically in Cinema 4D. Now you understand uh, what my problem was, and maybe you're suffering something similar within Cinema 4D, we can have a look at how we're going to sort this out and how we're going to fix it. What we need to do first is open up the NVIDIA control panel. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is go to manage 3D settings here on the left. Give that a click and it will open up a window like this. And you'll see that we've got global settings here. Now we don't want to change these settings for you know everything. We just want to target Cinema 4D. So if you go into program settings and you can see here that I've already got Cinema 4D selected, but for you, you want to click on this list and have a have a look down this list and look for Cinema 4D. In my case, it's Max and Cinema 4D. If you don't see in this list, what you have to do is go to Add uh, and then Browse and then navigate to Cinema 4D. And um, so that will be this Cinema 4D dot execute and uh, just double click on that and it'll add it to your list. Okay, so the first setting that we've got that you can see in bold here is my CUDA GPUs. Now I've set mine to all, uh, and the reason I've done that is because I've actually got two uh, GPUs in my machine. I've got a 30, uh, RTX 3090 and an RTX 3080. In your case, if you've got one card, select that card. If you've got two, select all, and uh, things should be fine. The next setting is the OpenGL rendering GPU. Now, typically, this will be the card that is actually uh, being used for your display. So in my case, I've chosen my GeForce RTX 3090. In your case, if you've got multiple cards, choose the one that your display is connected to. If you've only got one card, select that card. Next, we've got power management. Flip that over to prefer maximum performance. I think by default, it's set to something like normal. Yeah, use global setting, but prefer maximum performance for that. And threaded optimization, turn this on. Okay, so once you've made those changes to these settings, you should get an apply button at the bottom here and a cancel button. Just make sure you hit apply so it applies those settings to uh, the program, which is Cinema 4D. Now we can come out of this, we can close this. Right, now the NVIDIA control panel side of things is out of the way, we can actually talk about the Windows side of things. So Windows actually likes to stick its nose in 
in order to like prevent any sort of GPU computation from locking up the system or taking too long, the Windows operating system likes to intervene and it kills the GPU driver whenever some calculation takes more than a few seconds. So when the driver is killed, obviously the application using it crashes automatically and uh, you, you may lose a couple of your screens as well. Now, for normal function, this would be absolutely fine because your machine's probably not doing anything that could cause this. But in the case of artists, there may be certain programs you use that uh, you need to actually adjust slightly. All we have to do is hit the Windows key, type reg, and at the top you'll see this, registry editor. Click on this, say yes, and it'll open up this screen. Now, this is where we want to navigate to. Um, let's make sure we're top here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so it's computer, H key local machine, system, current control set, control, and then we go all the way down here to graphics drivers and we click on that. And in the right panel, you'll see the place that we need to be. Okay, so in here, you're actually gonna need uh, two registry entries and those are the TDR DDI delay and the TDR delay entries. Now, as you can see, I've already got them here. You might find that you've either got none of them, only one of them, but you will need both. So if you haven't got one of these entries in, the way that you create it would be to right click in an empty space, go to new and select D word 32 bit value. That is the same for both keys. And once you do that, it will create a file like this and in this new value we need to name it so the name is actually very important because you can see here that the TDR DDI delay has got uppercase letters and lowercase letters so please take note of this because it actually does matter it's case sensitive and the same for this TDR delay as well so it needs to be a capital T then the rest and then a capital D and then the rest and the same applies to this so just make sure you do do that so once you've got your registry entry created, I'm gonna delete this one because I've already got them. But once you've created these, what we can do is we can click on the TDR, uh, TDR DDI delay. And inside this, we've got the name you can see there. Um, click on decimal because uh, it just makes things nice and clear instead of a hexadecimal value. Click on decimal and set this value to 60. If you've already got this, when you open this uh, page, you can just double click on it and it will probably have a value of two or something like that. So you just need to make this value a lot bigger. So there you go, decimal, 60 seconds. There we go. And the same with TDR delay as well. Open this up. Again, it's set to hexadecimal. Just flip it over to decimal and put a value of 60 in here and then okay it. And we can close this now. Now things won't be done. You need to give your machine a restart. It won't recognize those registry entries until you give your machine a kick up the bum. So give your machine a restart and uh, your problem should be solved. If they're not, it's not a problem related to what I'm showing you. But um, this is quite common. And uh, since I've done it, Cinema 4D for me has been playing really nice. Uh, I did some testing with it. So, you know, just opening it up, creating a bunch of objects. And I thought, okay, that's... That's playing nice so far. I tried different uh, viewing modes, uh, all that kind of thing. And um, I even tried populating the screen with as many objects as I could to see, you know, what the strain on the on the driver and the card would be. And it seems to be working fine. It's handling everything that I've been throwing at it. So, um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments if that solves your problem, because it'd be good to know. And I'll see you for the next one. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.